What happened at Queen Elizabeth II's coronation? As King Charles's coronation fast approaches, many are wondering how much could have changed since the last coronation nearly 70 years ago. But what actually happened at the late Queen Elizabeth II ceremony? Queen Elizabeth II was crowned on the 2nd of June 1953 at Westminster Abbey and later wrote that the only problem on the actual day was the typical British weather. It poured with rain. The Queen's coronation ceremony began at 11.15 in the morning and lasted nearly three hours. It was the first coronation to be televised and TV sales across the world skyrocketed. The procession, made up of 250 people, walked along a five-mile route in front of three million in-person spectators. The actual coronation was broken up into six parts. The recognition, the oath, the anointing, the investiture, which includes the crowning, the enthronement, and the homage. King Charles became the first child to watch his mother being crowned monarch, but Princess Anne was considered too young to attend. Prince Philip was the chair of the coronation commission, and as the prince consort, was the first to pay formal homage to the queen. So now you know.